By the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about my favorite notebook and journaling system, the Traveler's Company Notebook. Welcome to Get It Together, and if you're new here, this channel is just me trying to figure out how to get my life together and sharing the tips and lessons I learn along the way. Before diving in, there are indeed section timestamps in the description below, so feel free to hop around as you see fit. Now, if you're here, chances are it's probably because you've heard of Traveler's Company notebooks, or you're someone who already actively uses handwritten note-taking or journaling all the time. And I've always preferred going analog for the speed, flexibility, and retention benefits of that visceral brain-to-hand-to-paper experience. And if you yourself are interested in specifically how I use my notebook, I made a very detailed breakdown on my notebook process specifically for work and productivity, and I'll link that video right up here. For a super quick intro to Traveler's Company though, they are my absolute favorite notebook line because they've created kind of an entire ecosystem of tremendously high quality papers, accessories, and customizations that are infinitely scalable to anyone's writing, planning, and documenting needs. For about five years, I've been using both their regular size and passport size notebooks. This regular size notebook cover in camel suede that follows me everywhere for my daily use, and this blue leather passport size which lives in my primary camera bag specifically for on-the-fly note-taking when filming projects for clients. I've decided to change my daily notebook cover from this soft, supple suede version to the structurally stiffer leather version. They're both great, and ultimately it's a personal preference thing. In any case, I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to share the unboxing and full setup process, and of course, some of the various customization options available no matter what you use your notebook for. It all starts with the shell, a simple yet highly functional leather or suede cover that somehow manages to look both at home in the boardroom or cafe, and I gotta say, the leathers and suedes Traveler Company uses age so beautifully over time. Let's start with unboxing this new regular size cover in camel leather. Removing the plastic reveals some literature and this cardboard quad-fold sleeve secured by a spare notebook elastic. Opening it up yields a linen pouch and some care instructions and an alternate colored green closure elastic. After I take those out though, out comes the camel leather notebook cover itself. I love the instant soft touch, which will eventually smooth out and patina over time and regular use, just like the leather on the blue passport size I've used for over half a decade, but it's always super satisfying to feel new leather goods. All of Traveler's Company's notebook shells come with one starter standard-sized notebook with their blank page MD paper, perfect for use with virtually all writing and drawing instruments, featuring a balanced cotton blend that's also ideal for fountain pens as it mitigates bleeding and feathering. But there it is. Unboxing includes the linen pouch, the notebook cover itself, one regular blank page notebook refill, and two spare securing elastics, care instructions, and other literature. Before moving on to setup, I think it's worth it to take a look at the anatomy of the notebook cover itself. There is, of course, the leather of the cover, there's a string that serves as a page marker, and there's a spine elastic used to anchor all the inserts. Both the page marking string and spine elastic are anchored to this pewter compression lock disc to keep them secured. There's also this looped closure elastic that's knotted and threaded through a central hole on the back cover used to wrap around the closed notebook to keep it secured and keep it from opening up inside of your bag. Finally, although not a part of the base leather shell package, there are optional additional anchoring elastics you can buy separately if you're the type of person who wants to daisy chain a few different notebooks and inserts, and I'll show you all of that later. Moving on to setup, I'll start with my personal permanent mainstays, since the notebook refills themselves get used and replaced all the time, but there are a few customizing accessories that always live on my traveler's notebooks. The first is a cotton multi-pocket insert, and the second one is one of their pewter charms. I picked up this special edition olive brown cotton zipper pocket insert from their 2021 B-Sides and Rarities collection, since I think it matches really well with the camel shell. On the front side, it's got a large flap pocket and three card size slots. And on the back side, it's got a secured zipper pocket. Tucking it behind the spine elastic and centering it secures it nicely. And next goes the notebook refill. Flip to the central stapled binding page and it too gets slid through the spine elastic. And this enables me to have the flap pocket and card inserts on one side of my notebook and the zipper pocket on the other. Next comes the charm, and to install it, all that needs to get done is to untie the closure elastic from the back cover and remove it completely. 
Decisions, decisions. Camera charm or airplane charm? I ultimately opt for the airplane because that's the one I've been using with all my other traveler company notebooks for so long. For this, thread the charm onto the closure elastic and center it. Then fish the ends back through the hole on the back cover. And for the next step, since it might require a bit of trial and error in terms of tightness, tie a knot but keep it quite loose for now. Test how secure the closure is, and as you can see, I got lucky on this one with the very first try. But essentially, once you're happy with the tightness of the closure, tighten the knot all the way, and you're done. Now, this right here is how I use my notebook. I just need one single blank notebook insert for my daily productivity and note-taking needs. But the great thing about the Traveler's ecosystem is just how customizable and expandable it is. For example, you may want a plain notebook for regular use, a craft notebook for scrapbooking when you're traveling, and a grid notebook for diagrams and graphs if you're, say, a designer or an engineer. Traveler's notebook inserts come in blank, lined, grid, calendar, and in various colored papers as well, so the world is truly your oyster when it comes to customizing it to fit your unique use cases. I personally recommend limiting the total number of combined inserts to four, since anything beyond that, the cover struggles to provide complete edge-to-edge -edge coverage when everything is closed and secured. So how do we anchor two notebook refills? Step one, start with one notebook in the normal setup with the central page tucked into the leather cover's spine elastic. Step two, take a separately purchased anchoring elastic and stretch it over the back half of the first notebook's central page before closing this first notebook shut. You'll see now that the anchoring elastic sits on the spine of the first notebook. Step three, open your second notebook refill to its central page and slide the front half of it through the anchoring elastic against the spine of the first notebook. Just like that, you have two separate securely anchored notebook refills attached to your leather cover. What about for three notebook refills though? Step one, take an anchoring elastic to first anchor two notebook refills together at their central pages. Step two, open the dual notebook assembly up and slide the entire flat laid assembly into the spine elastic of the cover so there's one complete notebook on each side of the spine elastic. By doing this, you'll also notice that the spine elastic itself between the two existing notebooks is completely exposed. And so for step three, flip your third notebook to its central page and feed it through the exposed spine elastic. Here, I'll stand it up so you can see all three notebooks and the cotton sleeve pocket all anchored securely within. And as you can also see when I wrap the securing elastic around the entire package with three notebooks and a zipper sleeve, that's four inserts total, the leather cover still completely protects the contents. Lastly, my pen clip. This pen clip is not made by Traveler's Company. I mean, Traveler's does make their own pen clip, which I really love and I use it with my passport size I keep in my main camera bag, along with Traveler's own brass and wood fine tip ballpoint pen. But for the types of diagrams and notes I take on the daily, I need two different colored inks and two different nib sizes. So I found this pen clip by another Japanese company called The Superior Labor. I clip it to the front cover and get my two Lamy Safari entry level fountain pens clipped in securely. And by the way, if you'd like a deep dive into everything you need to know about the Lamy Safari fountain pen lineup, let me know in the comments below. To just quickly show a few other customizations when it comes to inserts and accessories available with Traveler Company, here's a sticky note caddy with various sizes that'll come in really handy if you need to keep track of a bunch of different pages in your various notebook setups. And this here is a clear plastic zipper pocket sleeve insert for transparent storage and quick access. If you watched the video where I shared exactly how I use my notebook for productivity, you'll also know that for keeping track of project planning pages, I use these Traveler Company brass airplane punch out paper clips. I love that they sit below the cover so they don't get snagged when the notebook's closed and in my bag. They also make tons of stationary accessories too, and I was recently gifted this brass ruler which comes in handy for the process maps and workflow diagrams I draw in many of my pages and this freaking adorable set of tiny pencil crayons which I will never use. Partially because I'm not an artist, but also partially because they're so cute I wouldn't want to ruin the way they look. <laughs> so I'll be including these as part of a future subscriber giveaway. So make sure to hit subscribe as well as that bell notification button since I do quite a lot of subscriber giveaways quite often on this channel. Because of how many different options Traveler's Company has and makes, I thought I'd mention how Traveler's product lineup works. In general, when it comes to inserts and customizations, there are the standard staple products available all the time, and there are limited edition or seasonal inserts and notebook refills. 
For the standard ones available all the time, all of them have a three-digit code to make things easy to remember. For example, lined refills are 001, grid refills are 002, and the blank ones that I order all the time are 003. That clear plastic zipper pouch is 008, and the sticky note caddy is 022. Basically, it's really easy just to look up a three-digit code, and it's clearly printed on the packaging itself, so there's no mistakes to be made. Special editions don't have a three-digit number, so for example, these notebook insert refills here. This one available only at their store located inside Tokyo train station, and this one here available only at their store at Narita International Airport do not have a three-digit number. Regardless, I've linked some of their items in the description below if you yourself are interested in checking them out. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really like these two videos right over here. This one up here is notebook and productivity process related, and this one down here shares some of the other tools and things that I use and carry every single day. If you got value, please do hit that like button because that one small tap or click really helps my channel out. But as usual, thanks so much for kicking it with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.